Hello and welcome to the video. Today's topic is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, a high-yield uh, topic. So what is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura? Thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura is uh, a thrombotic disorder and is and in this thrombotic disorder there is microthrombi formation. There are large, large number of microthrombi that are generated in the small blood vessels as, as well as the large blood vessels. So microthrombi uh, that consumes large number of platelets that eventually give rise to thrombocytopenia in the peripheral blood. So the patient may have symptoms due to decreased, peri uh, decreased platelet count and the patient may have all those classical uh, clinical manifestations. The deficiency of von Willebrand factor cleaving enzyme ADAM TS13 is the pathognomic event that gives rise to all of this uh, process. So deficiency could be acquired or it could be uh, from uh, childhood, it could be from uh, the child could be born with a defic deficient Adam TS13. So in any case, uh, there is excess of von Willebrand factor that co promotes the increased adhesion of platelets to endothelium. Normally, also it acts as a bridge between platelet and endothelium. In case of excess of von Willebrand factor, there is persistent adhesion of uh, platelets to, to the endothelium that gives rise to thrombotic tendency. So here in this pic, you can see that the von Willebrand factor should be uh, normally cleaved by the protease, but in case of TTP, there are no proteases, and that gives rise to ultra large uh, polymers of uh, polymers of von Willebrand factor. So that causes the persistent adhesion of platelet to the endothelium. So uh, platelets keep on getting adhered to the endothelium for a longer period of time. That generates thrombi formation. Could be acquired form or uh, congenital form. Acquired form is in, there is an autoantibody that is being seen. Autoantibody may be seen secondary to various uh, autoimmune processes, other autoimmune condition. It could be seen secondary to blood transfusion or it could be seen secondary to uh, various hematological condition. So this autoantibody inhibits the activity of Adam TS13. It degrades uh, the the Adam TS13. So thereby causing uh, TTP. So thereby it causes persistent elevation of one will one will run factor. In the congenital form, the patients or the child is being born with inactivating mutations of Adam TS13. So Adam TS13 uh, is being deficient uh, in non-functional Adam TS uh, uh, is being seen from the childhood of uh, uh, the patient. So most of the cases are acquired but even it can be uh, congenital in some cases. Congenital form forms, though they are uh, inactivating mutations are seen from the childhood, from the birth, but still they are manifest manifested in adolescence. It is believed that the deficiency or inactivation of uh, the Adam TS13 is not severe enough to cause symptoms uh, in the congenital form. And there must be some precipitating event. There must be some precipitating event, uh, thrombotic event or any other hemolytic, any other uh, hematological uh, crisis that occurs that causes uh, the triggering of Adam TS13 uh, uh, complete uh, deficiency that causes the TTP generation. So most of the cases are seen in women as uh, we know that uh, women are more predisposed to autoimmune condition. So because of that, uh, uh, overall, there is uh, increased incidence of TTP in case of women compared to men. Classical pentad of signs and symptoms are exhibited in uh, most of the cases. So now what are uh, what is the pentard? The pentard is fever. The patient usually have fever. Thrombocytopenia is seen due to platelets being consumed in the microthrombi. So we get thrombocytopenia that may be variable from case to case. It may be fatal in some cases when platelet count goes down to less than 50,000 per cubic millimeter. It, the patient may start uh, manifesting with uh, bleeding and other uh, features. Renal failure are seen in many more many of the cases because renal blood vessels are being clogged by microthrombi, and also similar. Also, we get uh, CNS blood vessels being clogged that causes CNS deficit like altered sensorium and other neurological signs and symptoms. And uh, also, we get microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Now, why there is microangiopathic hemolytic anemia? It is explained that the microthrombi that are being clogged uh, that are clogging the blood vessels. So when the RBCs are passing through these blood vessels, RBCs get, get 
traumatized rbcs get friction their surface get uh, fragmented and there is a there is generation of rbc fragments which are known as cystocytes so we get cystocytes in the peripheral smear so the lab manifestations include decreased platelet count prolonged uh, bleeding time due to platelet uh, deficiency there is normal pt and aptt because we are not getting any altercation any uh, abnormality of extrinsic and intrinsic pathways peripheral smears reveal thrombocytopenia cystocytes and reticulocytes reticulocytosis uh, is seen because of uh, increased hemolysis that give rise to increased uh, retic generation from the bone marrow so thrombocytopenia cystocytes and reticulocytosis is very well seen in the peripheral blood smear so in this uh, pic we are seeing uh, the fragmented rbcs the fragmented rbcs are seen over here only there is one platelet being uh, exhibited over here so platelet is there is thrombocytopenia there is uh, there are fragmented rbcs and also some there is some polychromatic rbcs are seen which are equivalent to reticulocytes so all these manifestations are seen very well in the patients of ttp Now let's come to the treatment aspect. So, how to treat the patient? How to manage the patient? Plasma pheresis is being widely contemplated, and it is usually done in the many of the patients. Plasma pheresis, what it does is it exchanges the plasma of the patient with the normal plasma. So, it uh, supplies normal Adam TS13 and replaces the offending antibodies that are present in the patient uh, in the plasma of the patient. So, antibodies against Adam TS13 is being removed, and it is replaced with normal. Adam TS13, uh, which is present in normal plasma, it can refractory cases may also be treated with steroids to decrease the immunity. Rituximab has also been successfully tried in refractory and relapsed uh, TTP. Now, what rituximab does is it is a monoclonal antibody uh, which is active against the CD20 antigen on the B lymphocytes, so it helps in decreasing the autoimmunity. It uh, helps in decreasing the immune response, thereby it uh, causes. successful uh, healing of a uh, successful elevation of the symptoms of ttp so uh, that's all uh, for this uh, ttp uh, let's have a quick recap so uh, ttp is a thrombotic uh, disorder so there is a microthrombi formation there is platelet consumption there is a, there are very there is uh, pentards of symptoms including uh, fever thrombocytopenia neurological manifestations and uh, there is renal failure all these manifestations are seen in uh, ttp and uh, ttp is uh, due to deficiency of adam ts13 which could be congenital or acquired the treatment uh, that has been conferred is plasma exchange steroids and rituximab so thank you thank you for your patient hearing and uh, see you all in the next video please give your valuable feedback thank you